Hello everyone, uh, today we're going to be building Metamorpho um, as a Minecraft statue. Uh, this is based on his um, design from Superman, the new movie coming out next year. Um, there is a leaked photo of him, that's what this is based on. So the closer we get towards the movie coming out, I may do an updated tutorial just to update it, but based on how he looks and how he looks in the comics, it looks pretty similar. There's a few changes, but... But anyways, let's go ahead and get on into it. So the materials you're going to be needing are white sand glass, light gray, packed mud, brown mushroom block, gray concrete, orange terracotta, light gray concrete, orange concrete, magenta concrete, purple concrete, white concrete, white wool, and black wool. Let's go ahead and get all of those out. Uh, we won't really be needing white wool and black wool that much. Um... And after we're done with the legs, we can go ahead and get rid of all the glasses and muds. So, but we'll go with that as we go. So, anyways, um, let's go ahead and get started. So, uh, let's do, we're going to do the left leg first, since the left leg is um, the glass leg. Um, so, if no one knows, when Metamorph is supposed to be made out of elements. I'm not actually sure what element this is supposed to be. Maybe air, but... Anyway, so you're going to do three white uh, glass and one light gray. Next row, you're going to do one white, two gray, and then one white. For the next row, you're going to do one white, one gray, two white. For the next row, it is entirely white. For the next row, you're going to do one gray, one white, two gray. Well, the next row you're going to do two whites, one gray, one white. For the next row you're going to do one white, one gray, two white. And for the final row you're going to do one gray, three white. So next what you'll want to do is come to the back here and do a 4x4 four four of white. And you can fill in this entire middle column here. Like that. We're not going to put anything on the inside because it won't really matter. Uh, let's go ahead and do the side. So for the side you're going to do, uh, you're going to go back by three. One, two, three. Just leave that alone. For the next row, uh, we're going to go from left to right. Uh, we're going to do one white, one gray, one white. Uh, repeat that for the next row. One white, one gray. Oh, that's not right. One gray, one white. For the next row, we're going to do two gray, one white. And then the same on the next row. Two gray, one white. Um, for the next row, entire row of white. For the next row, one white, one gray, one white. And the last row is entirely white. Coming over to the other side, or to the back of his leg, I should say, um, we're going to go left to right as well. So the bottom row is entirely white. Uh, second row, one white, two gray. Next row is one white, one gray, one white. The next row is three white. The next row is uh, one gray. Two white. Next row is one white, one gray, one white. The next row is going to be one white, two gray. And for the final row is going to be two white, one gray. Like that. And what you can do on this side is just fill it in with white. So, we will no longer be needing the glass, so if you want to put those up, you are more than welcome to. Um, I would recommend probably getting the magenta and purple out, and the white, because the white concrete, because we will probably need those a little bit further on. Um, so, for the next thing, get out your gray concrete and do an entire platform on top of all this glass. Like that.
So for the next row, we are going to take our packed mud and we are going to build this up on the side so you can't just see into his leg. Like that. I believe that's going to be eight rows tall. So let's go ahead and build this leg, um, kind of the mud earth leg. So for, we already have this row right here, but we're going to do one packed mud, then one mushroom, two mud. Uh, the next row is entirely mud. Uh, the next row is um, three mud and then one mushroom block on the end. Uh, the next row, we're going to knock out this block, replace it with a mushroom, and then the rest is mud. Next row is two mud, one mushroom, one mud. The next two rows are just solid mud. The next row is one mud, one mushroom, two mud. And then we're going to do an entire row of gray. So let's come over to the other side of his leg. So we're going left to right. Uh, we're going to do, so we have the pre-existing row, so one mud, one mushroom, two mud, uh, entire row of mud. Uh, do that again. The next row is going to be three mud, one mushroom. Next row is entirely mud. Next row is two mud right here. One mushroom, one mud. Uh, next row is entirely mud. Next row is one mush or one mud, one mushroom, two mud. And then for the back of his leg, we're going to do the, the bottom row is entirely mud. Then it's one mud, one mushroom. The next row is two mud, and then knock this block out and replace it with a mud or a mushroom. It's getting kind of confusing to talk. <laughs> Um, fill these two in with uh, mud, and then we're going to do mud and then mushroom right here. Uh, next row is entirely mud. Next row is one mushroom, one mud, and then the last row, two mud, knock this block out, replace it with the mushroom. So that is his leg, the earth leg, I guess. And then when you're done, you can just fill fill that in. You can fill it in all the way if you want. It doesn't really matter, though. Um, so for the next row, we are going to... We're actually going to bring this up by... I think it's three rows? Yeah. So you'll have four rows total of just gray concrete. So these are like his little shorts that he's wearing. I know in the comic design, he's got kind of like, um, like Superman underwear. Kind of like that, those kind of trunks, but it seems they wanted to give them actual shorts in this design, which makes sense. So that's that. Um, so what we're going to do now, looks like we're actually missing a material, which I'm surprised I didn't get. Uh, get out on black concrete. I am sorry I forgot to get that. Um, you can also go ahead and get rid of the mud. We're not going to be needing it anymore and of course I deleted all the materials okay um so yeah we'll take that and pardon me for one second okay so what we're going to do now is three black concrete here two gray light gray and then three black concrete and then if you come to the back you can just do a whole row of black concrete just that's his little belt that he's wearing. Um, so let me grab these materials real quick after I purge them. All right. And let's get that white. Okay. So let's go ahead and just do the torso. So we're going to do the orange side first. I don't know what this element would be. It's kind of hard to say. Um, we're going to move the orange a little bit closer, like that. Okay. So we're going to do three orange terracotta, one orange concrete, entire row of concrete. Then we're going to do two orange terracotta, one concrete, one terracotta, entire row of concrete, 
uh, one terracotta, two concrete, one terracotta, um, an entire row of concrete. Next row is two concrete, two terracotta. The next row is three concrete, one terracotta. The next row is three concrete, one black concrete. The next row is two orange terracotta, one black concrete, one white concrete. And then the final row is one orange concrete, one black concrete, two white concrete. So that will be the orange side of his body. And then for the kind of purple side, we're going to do, this is actually going to be um, very similar on almost all the rows here. So we're going to do one magenta, one purple, one magenta, one purple. And then we're going to uh, do that. We're going to pretty much just alternate the rows. So this will be purple, kind of like that. We're going to do that again. That and then we're going to do it once more, and again, and then for the next row, we're going to do two magenta, one purple, one magenta. And then for the final row for, of this part, um, we're going to do three magenta, one purple. So like that. For the next row, we're going to do one purple, three magenta. And then for the next row, we're going to do one black, three magenta. For the next row, we're going to do one white, one black, one purple, one magenta. And then for the final row, we are going to do two white, one black, one purple. So like that. That is his body. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and move on to, uh, I guess we can go ahead and do the back of the body. Just, um, get that over with. Um, so for the back of the body, um, it's almost the same. It's just a little bit different. Let's do let's do the purple first. Just get it out of the way. So we're gonna do we're gonna go from left to right. So we're gonna do one magenta, one purple, one magenta, one purple. And this time, this is almost gonna go all the way to the top. So um, just honestly, it might just be good to. Do it all the way to the top, and then we can go back in and take out like two or three rows, which is probably the easiest way to do it. And these are like scales, if you don't know what this design is supposed to be. Okay, so there's um there's that. So what we're gonna do now is come to this top row. We're gonna knock out this and replace it with a black. And we're going to replace these two with white concretes. And then we're going to replace these two with blacks right here. Uh, knock out this one, replace it with the magenta. And we're going to make kind of a slant right here so it ends right here. So take out these two. So you should have something that looks like that. So that's like the last one. Um, the orange side's a little easier. Um, so for this row, we're going to do three orange or three terracotta and concrete, full row of concrete, two terracotta, two concrete, full row of concrete, oh, that's the wrong block, one terracotta, three concrete, full row of concrete, two terracotta, two concrete, full row of concrete, three terracotta, concrete, and then we're going to do two black concrete, two orange concrete, and we're going to do two white 
concrete, one black, one orange concrete. So you should have something like this. All right, so let's go ahead and do the arms. So the arms are pretty simple. Um, on, well, the orange one is at least. So we're going to come out of the belt right here and place two orange terracotta, two orange concrete, entire row of orange concrete. I'll go on left to right, of course. And the next row is going to be three terracotta, one orange concrete, whole row of concrete, two terracotta, two concrete, whole row, concrete, one terracotta, three concrete, whole row of concrete, two terracotta, two concrete, whole row of concrete, one, two, three terracotta, one concrete, and the last row is just concrete. Um, so go ahead on the back of his hand and just extend it backwards with the orange concrete. And then for the sides, all you're going to do is just match up um, what color you see just right here. Um, and honestly, the, the back of the arm is the exact same as the front, so literally just copy what you have. So we're going to bring this over. It's... The orange side is really simple. And I have no idea what this element is supposed to be. Like, I I can make I can probably understand the leg ones with like the air and the earth, but I honestly could not tell you what these orange and purple elements are supposed to be. I haven't really looked it up, so I am curious though to know what they are. I might look them up after recording this. So there's that. And of course, you'll want to fill the shoulder in by three. So one, two, three right here. I already did it. It's kind of, kind of out of instinct. But, but yeah, that's the orange side of him done. So let's go ahead and do the purple side of him. So you're going to come to the belt again and place two purple concrete. And then two magenta. And going from left to right again, we're going to do a whole row of magenta. Two magenta, one purple, one magenta. We're going to do one magenta, one purple, one magenta, or actually two magenta, sorry. Next row we're going to do two magenta, one purple, one magenta. Next row is one entire row per magenta. Next row is one magenta, one purple, one magenta, one purple. Next row is two magenta, one purple, one magenta. Next row is entirely magenta. The next row is two magenta, one purple, one magenta. Next row is one magenta, one purple, one magenta, one purple. And the final row is fully magenta. Uh, coming over here to the side, we can go ahead and just bring this back by three. And then for uh, going left to right, you can go ahead and knock this block out and place purple. The first two rows are entirely magenta. For the next row, we're going to do, um, I guess including this, um, one purple, one magenta, one purple. Um, next row is one magenta, one purple, one magenta. An entire row of magenta. Next row is one magenta, one purple, one magenta. Next row is one purple, two magenta. The next row is entirely magenta. And the next row is two magenta, one purple. And then the next row is entirely magenta. And then the final row is one purple, two magenta. Moving on to the back, uh, from left to right on the bottom, and we're going to do one magenta, one purple, one magenta. Next row is entirely magenta. Uh, so are the next two rows actually. Like that. Next row is one magenta, one purple, one magenta. Next row is one purple, one magenta, one magenta. Or two magenta. Uh, the next row is one magenta, one purple, one magenta. Next row is entirely purple. The next row is two magenta, one purple. 
mixture is entirely mag magenta, and the top row is one purple, two magenta. And then go ahead and just fill in this top with magenta. So that is Metamorpho's entire body and legs done. Um, so yeah, uh, now we can go ahead and move on to the head. Let's go ahead and pull the white wool and black wool down. And we'll move the light gray close to the white concrete. So for the front of the head, uh, what we're going to do is come to this block right here, right next to the black, and place a white on it on both sides. I'm going to pull these in front by two and connect them together. So go ahead and come to this block, knock it out, and knock this block out, and place light grays in them. Like that. The next row we're going to do one white concrete, one light gray, one white, two light gray, three white. The next row is entirely white concrete. The next row is one light gray, one white wool, one black wool, two white concrete, one black wool, one white wool, one light gray concrete. The next row is one white concrete, two black concrete, two white concrete, two black concrete, one white concrete. For the next row, we are going to do an entire row of white concrete. And actually, it might just be easier if we do the last three rows here as just white concrete. So in total, your head should be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tall. So go ahead and come to this top corner, knock it out, place the light gray, knock this one out as well. And we're also going to knock this guy out and this guy right here. So that is the front of his face. Uh, let's go ahead and move on to this um, right side here. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and pull it back over the statue by two, like so. And then let's just go ahead and fill it in. And honestly, we may just go ahead and fill the entire stat. Well, now let's just do it time at a time. Um, so we're going to come to the bottom row and knock this block out. And replace it with a light gray. For the second row, we're going to knock this block out. A third row is entirely white. Fourth row is that one right there. Fifth row, we're going to come one from the end right here and place one there. Third or this next sixth row is going to be right here past this one. And seventh row and eighth row is just white. Coming over here to the uh, right or the left side. I'm going to just go ahead and fill it in. If I can build. Okay. Uh, so coming down to the the bottom row is entirely uh, white besides that one on the corner. Um, the next row we're actually going to have two. So come to the end and replace this one. And then three in, we're going to replace that one right there. So they should be three apart and three from the end. For this next row, we're going to place one just right in the middle. Next row is just the one on the end. Next row is full white. The next row is 3N as well. And then the this row is going to be this one right here. And the top row is white with that one right there. So going on to the back now. Um, let's go ahead and just connect this together. There's not going to be one down there. So for the back, um, we're going, let's go ahead and just fill it in.
like so. So for the second row, we're going to knock this one out and replace it with the library. For the third row, we're going to replace this one right here because I like this weird diagonal. And then do the same for this right here. For this fifth row, we're going to replace that one. It's kind of in that little gap right there. And then for this one, we're going to come up here and replace the one kind of parallel to that. Uh, for the next row, we're going to place it in this gap right here. And then for the final row, we're going to place it in this gap right here. And now for the top of the head, now let's go ahead and fill it in. So we should have this. So for the top of the head, we're going to start from the back here, just kind of looking forward. So we're going to knock out this block and replace it. We're going to go in front of it by three. So one, two, three, and then over and break that one. From here, we're going to go three again. Actually, it would probably be just easier to do this. Skip two blocks right here and place it there. And then from this one, we're going to go one, two, and then over and break that one. And if you have done that, that will be your statue complete. So let me go ahead and just take out my hand here. So here he is, Metamorpho. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, I had a blast designing this guy, um, and I, I've also designed the other Justice Society members, or actually, they're not really Justice Society, I think in the movie this was supposed to be for like Maxwell Lord, but anyways, um, I designed all the other ones as well, which tutorials will be coming out for them, um, probably while this one is being posted, um, but this is the first one I've actually built, so, yeah, so, Thank you guys for, for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.